Hi everybody, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.TV. A lot of times here on EdTech.TV or around other um, EdTech related sites, you'll see a lot of information about creating multimedia pages. But the problem is that there's always some kind of setup. And I mean, I've introduced a lot of really great sites like uh, Medium and applications such as uh, Haiku Deck. But today we're gonna talk about something a little bit different. Um, and the question is, do you want the multimedia interaction without all the setup and learning curve? If so, I'm really happy to have the answer, which is TAC. Now, the first time I heard about TAC, I think was on the House of EdTech podcast with Chris Nessie. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I remember listening to it or hearing about it on the podcast and then not really having an idea exactly of what it was because it's such a visual thing that just listening to it doesn't quite do it justice. Um, so today I'm gonna do a little bit of a presentation uh, as always and show you what you can do with TAC and how really, really easy it is to jump into it. So let's go take a look. So to get started, all we have to do is go to tac.com and it'll start you off with a little video telling you how to, uh, you know, what things look like, it's a little introduction video. Um, now, here's where we go with everything. Now, I just wanna kinda clarify what exactly TAC is. TAC is the ability for you to create a multimedia page without having to sign up for anything, without having to make a whole blog on the back end. Um, it's just a way to put together things from the internet onto one page so that you can create and share something. Um, now, there are a lot of different reasons you might use this, but for the education aspect which we're looking at, we're probably going to look at this basic idea of class assignments. Now that's just a template, you don't have to follow it, but let's do that for our case right now. Now what you'll see is it'll start you off with kind of a project, it'll give you a little bit of information, a little bit of uh, text down here at the bottom, and then the toolbar here. Um, now let's just do it with what I'm going to do, because I've got a class coming up pretty soon, we're going to be reading The Alchemist. So I might wanna make a page kind of covering the senses of the alchemists and things like that and kind of cover some of the basics that we're gonna be doing in class. Uh, so maybe I wanna add a photo. And the very first thing, it kind of gives me this opportunity. I'll say add photo and you can search from 500 pics. You can upload your own photo. You can choose from Instagram or from a URL. Um, I'm gonna find one because the alchemist takes place in the desert. Uh, I like this first picture. And it puts it right here into my, onto my page. And so I'll hit done. And as you can see, I've already got a nice page. It says the alchemist and it's got this picture of the desert. Now I might wanna change this text a little bit. All I have to do is click on it, say, The Alchemist covers the story of a young protagonist on a journey to find his treasure. Um, now, of course, as a teacher, we can kind of get into whatever we want to say. We can start using it as prompts to ask questions or things like that. But that's kind of the idea here. Now, this is just a sample. I've done a title, a picture, and some text. We have a bar down here at the bottom that says I can add another headline, more text, a photo, videos from YouTube or Vimeo or wherever, audio from um, Spotify, SoundCloud. I can add a button here, um, map, selling things. <laughs> it gets into a little bit of things that we, we might not need for our courses, but there's a lot to play around with. So that's the basics, the very basics of what we're gonna get started with. And you, we can see all the other things that we can get into after that. Now, earlier I mentioned this toolbar at the bottom and all of the different functions that you can add multimedia into. So I might choose to add a video. And it gives me choices here from YouTube, Vimeo, Hulu, etc. cetera. Uh, but I found a video that I want, so I'm gonna go open this up and I found this nice time-lapse of the Sahara Desert. Um, I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna plug it right into here.
and now I've got the video put right into my uh, my page here. So I might want to use this to give a sense of you know the atmosphere of what it's like out there, and so I can just have this run and play. Uh, let me get rid of these extra things, but. So as my students are reading, they might take a look at this and go, oh, okay, well, this is what it's like to be in the Sahara Desert um, and get a sense of what the background is going on in the book here. So I'll stop that. I can do the same thing with audio if I want to choose uh, local music. Uh, this one that says button is just a, just the opportunity to customize a button label. Um, so I might want to link it to something. For our sake, we'll just say tech.tv. So you can play around with the different options here, but what you can see is how easy it is to build everything right into this. So with the text option, I might create some writing prompts for my students. Um, and the one secret thing that I hope you all noticed here, I didn't sign into anything. I just started making it right away. So you and your students can do the same things. If you want to assign them to create something right here on TAC, it doesn't take anything. On the other hand, if you want to make something and publish it out for them to look at and to comment on, it also doesn't take anything extra or special. It's all right there in TAC. So that's a really beautiful function. We're going to play a little bit around with this uh, toolbar over here on the right-hand side. So as you can see, my background is just kind of this simple gray. Maybe I want to change that to uh, kind of a orangish brown. No, I don't like that. I like this. Uh, there we go. No. Nope. There we go. Okay. And maybe uh, maybe I don't want those colors, or I don't want just to be those standard colors, so I might want to change some from some sort of palette that suits me a little bit better. Um, I can also choose to change the fonts. So if I want that all to look a little bit different, to match whatever I'm talking about, I can do that. Uh, these patterns, I might choose this flower background pattern or houndstooth, something that I feel kind of matches what I'm working with. And then you also have this one called options. Um, so you can, uh, you know, make it public or private, depending on what you're trying to do with your class. You can assign it uh, kind of just like hashtags here. You got your tack boards. And so if you want to kind of put the name of your classroom in here, you can do that. Uh, the title will already be there if you've put, if you want the same title as as your uh, title of your page, photo background if you want that, and then a comment stream. This one's a really cool function because you can let your students jump in and comment on things that you want to do together. Um, finally, you have the option here to share. Um, once you've published it, uh, you can share it out to Facebook. Well, I'll, let's just publish it because I'll show you what it looks like. I'll hit publish tech. Um, I am not going to put it on Facebook right now. I could invite my friends with my email, but I'm going to save that for a little bit later. Now it's published. Um, here I've got the URL. I can share it out directly there. Now look that it says it'll expire on Monday, October 6th. So it'll give me about a week, a little more than a week. I can sign up for free to keep it forever, but if I just want it to be a temporary thing, I can just do it temporarily. Um, here I can copy it if I want to. It's all copied. I can do all these emails. I can even print it if I wanted to. The print function's kind of cool. It does take a minute to develop, but it'll give you a QR code. If you don't know how to work with those, go check out edtech.tv. I'll show you how. Um, and it'll give you a printed, printable version here. Now, obviously, you can't print a video, but it'll give you the basics here. It'll let you customize your, you know, say all the same things that are on the page just in a printed version. So if you happen to have, you know, no internet connectivity or something like that, you can always make a PDF version. Uh, and like I said, you can share out to all the different resources um, or if you just have an email list and send right directly to your students. So that's it. That's all you have to do with tech. So go ahead, play with these buttons on the bottom. Um, and then once it's published, you can have the comment stream open where 
your students can come in and comment on things, or if your students are making things, you can go in and comment on what they're making. Um, lots of possibilities here. You can create book reports, you can create um, writing assignments, you can create, uh, you know, a visual uh, a visual pin board if you wanted to on, on a certain level to kind of describe or create you know the modern day diorama anything like that um, and it really doesn't take much in terms of tech know-how all you have to do is know how to log on to the internet and you're pretty much good to go just start clicking playing with it and you will be set to run with tech definitely a lot of fun um, doesn't take long to start and it doesn't take long to finish. So log on to tack.com, see how you can use it in your classroom, and uh, I'd love to see what you were able to make. So I hope that showed you how easy it is to work with TAC. Uh, for your homework today, I'd like you to log on to tack.com, and you don't even log on, you just go to the website. Then you create a TAC, and finally, I'd love for you to share the link with me when you publish your TAC. As always, I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can share the link with me on any of these different places, on Twitter at EdTechPrincipal, on YouTube also at EdTechPrincipal, and on Facebook at EdTechTV. Uh, let me see what you're making. I want to I want to know if this stuff's useful for you guys, so please share it out. And I hope you guys are doing real well. I will talk to you soon.